Alright guys, Zachman18 here. Welcome to the next episode of You Don't Know Jack 2015. It's the first day of March today. Sorry for the late upload. Uh, we've had a pretty busy weekend uh, this this week. And um, so I am being joined by Bean the Machine today. Hey. So he's going to be joining us for this episode. Uh, we're not going to be doing multiplayer because uh, it's going to lag even more uh, if we do that uh, recording this. So we're just going to head right back into our playthrough okay, of the game. We are on episode 6, the uh, Anti-Pedestrian Council. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, listen to me. I'm gonna need a jug of beet juice, some WD-40, and a bag of peat moss. Stat. Okay. <laughs> when, you hear, when you hear something like that, that's when you know you're heading into Unimo Jack. Yeah. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and not to brag, but the cashier at Trader Joe's complimented me on my choices today. Uh, that's great. <laughs> Nobody wanted to play with you, huh? It's like grammar school all over again. Oh, that's horrible. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by the anti <laughs> Council. They just cross hey, it out. Trying to drive here is our motto. Sniff Their motto is, "Hey, I'm trying to drive here." The game, and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. All right, I'm ready. Oh, this is the first time Ben Cena, you don't know Jack 2015. Oh my god. Okay, let's begin. Yeah, let's begin. So there's new question intros. <laughs> right off the bat, she mused me. Gotta keep an eye out for that wrong answer. It's pretty important. If Taylor Swift broke up with oh. every male currently in the world, about how many songs would she be inspired to write? Oh, this is bad. 1.2 billion songs, 2.3 billion songs, it's gotta be at least 3.6, and it can't be over 7. This, this seems too easy. The world population is floating around 7.1 billion, of which 3.6 billion are males. Yes, everybody in the world is now is, that is only gets her male. a few microseconds for each relationship, but that should be more than enough. We just play guitar here, so that's kind of matching up with what we did today. Try this on for size. This question got stuck in my teeth. It's a long Who's thing hungry? to get your teeth. I am. Yeah, baby. Cookie fortune, cookie sisters. <laughs> no, I couldn't remember the song. Okay, <clears throat> this one's a bit violent. Oh. Don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. You know what that's from? Okay, so I won't shoot anybody until I see their, uh, their um, their pupils, their irises, their retinas, or their what? scleras. Oh, the white, isn't it? Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna go with Ben. Let this be a lesson to you. No. Ben, you it just lost me all. Right, the white of your eye is called the sclera. I've never heard of that. But don't look too Have you heard of sclera? Eyes, I've you never heard of that. I know, I know those three, all, those three other ones besides that one. How about right. Cookie Masterson, the vocab guy? <laughs> It's like, sounds like Bill Nye. Bill Nye well, the there you go. <laughs> I learned nigh everything there was to know about science. What would be true of him? Well, nigh means nothing. You know nearly everything so, about I'm gonna go with nothing. <laughs> I now have evidence supporting my theory that you're not very smart. Oh, what? Is that the one it means? No, no, I'll get this. Nigh means oh, near or nearly. I thought that meant nothing. <laughs> the reason why Bill Nye doesn't know Where everything were you about in that science question, is because he refuses to accept the Cookie Masters and Gosh, dang, I'm getting, I'm getting too cocky. mechanics as the scientific fact that it is. But I guess people fear what they don't understand. Oh man, I'm not doing it very good. It's like this smooth jazz. <laughs> and on its way, yeah. your mother smells like the jungle. Ooh. What are you most likely to see Tarzan scrambling to buy at the last second on Mother's Day? A banana bouquet for Coco, banana candies for Kala, banana perfume for Chim Chim, or a calendar of banana pictures what is it asking? for Abu? Oh, what her name is? Oh, I don't know. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. I don't know. Kala is the female ape who oh! Tarzan in the Baby! jungle. Baby! Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. I tell you guys, it always works. Much. He was too busy sitting around patting his chest with the backside of his hand every couple of minutes. All right. 
<laughs> James Bond reference. This one's All right, I'm gonna have Ben play this. The game, and it's I, know, a or dat. I know that the Dister Dat's always in the first round, so Ben's gonna play the Dister Dat. I'm gonna read off seven acronyms, and for each one, oh. tell me if it's a type of healthcare plan or a type of video game. Oh. If it's a healthcare <laughs> this is plan, be interesting. press the left arrow. <laughs> If it's a type of video game, press the right, right arrow. I wish you luck. We good? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here we go. HMO. <laughs> MMO. <laughs> He's gonna get all of these. PPO. POS. <laughs> FPS. <laughs> this is stupid. RTS. <laughs> Oh, what is M-O-O? -O? Well, you made it, but not in perfect the... shape. Kind of like having an HMO. Right, yeah, we, we, gotta, we gotta be like a cow when we play those types of games. Get it? Yeah. Get it? Yeah, I get it. Was it funny? I can't afford to see oh. a doctor, so <laughs> I've just started asking the 12 year olds Man, to play round one and we're only at 1600 for medical bucks? advice. They said I should go for it myself. They also called me an asshole, but my rash cleared up. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Not a good sign for you, we Cookie. Finished round one. Oh, did we find the wrong answer? Sweat. No, we didn't. Remember, I didn't see it. Two, every question is worth double. I hope it's still there. Okay, good. And remember, keep an eye out for the wrong answer. Anti-pedestrian council. So we have to find something that has to do with pedestrians or something with anti or a council. Right? I'll save you, Ben. Oh. <laughs> he didn't make it. Coming up next... Pussycat control. Ooh. Oh my god, my cat's poopsie and mayonnaise are driving me crazy. And what do I get from them? Nothing. <laughs> if my cats were like the cat in the fairy tale Puss in Boots, what would they do for oh, me? I know all about Puss in Boots. Grant me three wishes, help me kill a witch, impress my boss and get me a promotion, or help me break an ancient curse. Uh... Didn't he impress the boss? In Puss in Boots, Puss makes his master look good in front of the king, which results in him marrying the king's daughter, Did becoming royalty. Uh, it was pretty good. Why don't you two idiots ever do anything like that for me? I haven't had a promotion in years. He's three wishes. That's uh, god godmother. I Wait, isn't it? Oh, no, that's the genie. Those are complimentary, damn it. What else? Are those I don't know. Oh, the Seven even. Here's a good one. That evidence was planters. If Mr. Peanut wanted to make some marzipan, which of his other nut <laughs> friends could he grind up to produce the central ingredient? Mr. Hazelnut, Mrs. Almond, Miss Cashew, or Senor Brazil Nut? Well, marzipan's an almond, so that would, that would make sense. Marzipan to... is a confection made from sugar, eggs, and ground up Mrs. Almonds. Yeah. Regular almonds work too. But Mr. Peanut would be found not guilty because he's a total. N See, you thought I was going to say nut, didn't you? No, it's a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. No one would believe the murder thing. Nut case! That's it. <laughs> Next up, where the buffalo foam. You know, I'm having a pretty good day, which means. Hello, Danny. Yes. Yep, there he is. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who used to tell me? Not me. Oh, you don't remember that? I was waiting for you to Billy, say, not why me. Why are you foaming at the mouth? <laughs> I've got rabies and I've come to date you. <laughs> what? Stay away from me. Did you get bitten by a rabid animal? <laughs> Maybe. Which of these animal dites oh. could not give me rabies? <laughs> a diver dite, a non-goose dite, a king cobra dite, or a dadger well, dite? Well, I know beavers can and badgers can. Mongoose and king cobra. What do you think? Cobra? Rabies only affects warm-blooded nice. animals, not reptiles. Reptiles. <laughs> Besides, you can't get Over the hedge reference. like this, Billy. You're made of wood. Really? Then how did I get sick to this? need to watch that again. That's a good point. Right? We need to watch Over the Hedge again. Oh, yeah. Up 
up next. Still working on memorizing that one. <laughs> Yoko has no remorse. Oh, we still haven't found the wrong answer. What Beatles album am Anti -pedestrian I Anti-Pedestrian Council. Oh, Let no. Let it be Yellow Submarine, Abbey Road, or Help. Uh... I'm just looking for the see, road that could have something to do with pedestrians. Want to see the answer? Oh, right here. Dot, 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 dash, pedestrians dash, dash, road. Dot dot dot. In Morse that code, has to be it. SOS. The international distress call. Of course, if the Beatles ever got stranded, they'd need help from somebody, but not just from anybody. Picky bastards. Pedestrian. That only makes sense. You mean the album with the Beatles on the crosswalk? No. But you can gently move we cross walkers out of your way with a memory foam car bumper from the Anti Pedestrian Council. <laughs> the Anti Pedestrian Council. Because walkers. It just prevents right? you from. This wrong answer parking is wrong or? sweet 8,000 clams. <laughs> well done. I don't understand. Oh. Ben, you dropped your ice Next. Yeah, no. F this. <laughs> How would you read comedian Will Forte's name if it were accompanied by the musical well, notation? Forte means Forte. loud. Will sing Forte! Loud. Will yeah. Forte. It means sing loud. In music, Forte means played loudly. That was really easy. You can do that Will one, Forte's right? quiet okay. and nuanced performance in his Oscar-nominated <laughs> film, The Gruber. It's Will Forte. That's like vibrato, I think. This happens when you play. <laughs> you know all these musical terms. Brace yourself for the. All right, we know how to play. Oh, I'll just shut my mouth. Then here's your clue. The prodigy's son returns. Huh? They were prodigies in what area? Good luck. Prodigies in what area? All right. Let's see if we can do this. Who's Doogie Hauser? I don't know who he is. Airbending, that's... What's the category? It's like, what What were they a prodigy of? Like, what were they best in? Well, Mozart was an artist. Or like a music... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Simple as that. Oh, that's chess. Yep. Bobby Fischer. Skywalker. Didn't we just see something about Jedi? Bad act. <laughs> yes, Anakin Skywalker was a baseball player. And he liked to masturbate a lot. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Uh, do you know anything about the Who? I don't know what he does. Oh, what? Smashing guitars. Was it really? Mm -hmm. Crap. See, in this new, you don't know Jack, you can't, they only let you go back to previous ones. Right. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Uh, this is golf. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Frolf. Stop bringing that masturbate. <laughs> Jesus. I wonder how good he is at his own game. <laughs> he has like five games for himself. What a jerk. Oh yeah, baby! Being on <laughs> We already saw airbending, so... Oh god, like a like an adult version of Avatar is just him masturbating. <laughs> it's a, his fifth form of bed. Oh my god. That'd be horrible. I say we did pretty good. We kind of didn't know a couple of those, but... Either way, we got there a good is. score. We're in iguana, apparently. You probably don't know this, but uh, I was something of a nose flute prodigy growing up. Listen to this. Oh, those things are so annoying. What? I mastered that when I was just five years old. Hard to believe. <laughs> 
All right, and that's going to do it for this week's episode of You Don't Know Jack 2015. We had a pretty good score overall. We've, we've been getting a, a good average score of about uh, 25, between 25 and 30,000, so that's always good. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure you check out next Sunday for an all-new episode in which we'll be playing episode number seven and all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Ben, for joining me today. Yep. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been You Don't Know Jack 2015, episode six. As always, I'm Zach Ben 18. I'm Ben Machine. And I will see you guys next Sunday for an all-new episode of You Don't Know Jack 2015, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a new episode of Minecraft Monday. Let's go, 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 let's go